your mentality coming into this one after kind of everything you went through last year, kind of learning, you know, the spot? How prepared do you think you're ready, you know, to, to start this fall? And, and where's your mentality at? Uh, right now, I'm focused on just keep learning the back of the hand, uh, playbook like the back of my hand, and just coming out here and getting better every day. As long as I come out here and get better every day, we'll be able to do whatever. We're just trying to get better as a unit right now. Al, how would you characterize, you know, last season? I know the coaches seem to love you. You were captain several times. Mm -hmm. I'm very proud of that. Last okay. last season was a uh, it was a rocky season for the team. So uh, uh, emotionally, it, it's, it's very uh, up and down. So uh, right now, we just really want to focus on getting better because. We have fun. You have fun when you win, and right now, we got to become one so we can win. That's what we're trying to work towards. What, what do you think about this team right now in spring? How do you think you guys are doing? With you guys? I mean, we're progressing. We're working real hard, so only time can tell what we're going to grow into. How are you doing? How, how have you improved as a cover guy since you got here, and uh, how is practice going? I think Coach Rump doing a great job of grooming all the DBs. We're coming along every day. We come out here working on something new every day, so we all adding new tools to our belt every time we come out here. What would you say is the biggest lesson you learned last season? Uh, the biggest lesson I learned is just stay calm in all situations and just try to stick together. You know, uh, it's, a, it's a lot of strength that comes from staying together as a team. So we can just always, no matter what adversity comes, stay together and just keep that same mindset. That, and then we can just conquer anything. Stop. Scott Patchett just told us how important the legacy thing is mm -hmm. for him. And there have been a lot of legacy players over the years. Um, and I, I know how you feel, but right now at this point, do you, mm -hmm. you still think about that? Uh, the legacy thing is just something, uh, once you get off the field, that's very special to you. But once you're on the field, you're just the same as any one of these guys out here. So mm -hmm. it's up to me to just approve myself as a man first. And then whatever I do as a man, come and come the best I can be. And then it'll uphold to the legacy, whatever it is. What was your focus uh, in terms of getting your body different maybe from the last year? Put on weight, get stronger, what sort of the difference? Uh, I've always been the guy that loved the weight room. Coach really can t t test to that because no matter, whenever I go in the weight room, I feel like it's like man versus iron. I feel like it's up to me. Like I'm in control of how much weight I gain, I'm in control of how strong I am. So whenever I go in the weight room, I just want to attack it with the mindset of let's, let's just get better. What, is, what did you measure, height, weight, and, uh, and fat percentage? Uh, I believe I was six, six one, one like one eighty eight, and then like four point seven percent body fat. You can't get much less than that. I came in, I came in pretty low. I'm trying to still put on some body fat right now. Uh, what's the biggest area of your game that you want to improve on this spring? What are you concentrating the most? I want to improve on? everything. Uh, as far as, as far as just being able to react fast, that that comes with the playbook. Um, I just want to improve as a as an overall defensive back. Just making plays. It's all about making plays at a, as a cornerback and sometimes just playing your role. So really, I just want to be able to play my role and make plays when they come my way. What are coaches, so <clears throat> what are coaches harping on, maybe in particular with you, like when you sit down in the film and say, "Hey, you got to get better at this." So there's certain little things they're sort of picking out and, say, and, you're, and you know in the back of your mind you got to get better at. Oh yeah, every day you come out here, it's coaches all around in your ear telling you this and telling you that. And when you watch film, you see what you need to get better at. So when you come out here, you just have to take criticism. And when you hear it, you gotta, it's up to you to go back, look at it, and then know that next time you come out, you got to work on it. So really, really, it's just all the coaches, Coach Diaz, Coach Rump, Coach Binder, they all, they all are on you, helping you get better, because that's what they want at the end of the day. So what do you have to get better at? Uh, me, personally, I just got to get, just become better as an overall player. I mean, it's, it's, it's always that level where you can be good, you can be great, or you can be legendary. So right now, you don't want to be stuck at good or great. You just want to try to reach for the top.